Okay, so I just wanted to grab a couple cards to see what's happening um, with your connection, the person you're thinking about, what are the current energies of your connection. Let's have a look. So we'll get one from this deck first. Freedom, independence and self-determination. So you're currently separated from this person because you guys just both want your freedom right now. So you're both working on yourselves. What are we working on? What are we currently working on? We're reflecting. We're looking at ourselves. We're examining ourselves. We're looking at illusions and our perception and our distortion from some perspectives of our viewpoints. So this is a really good energy to be in. So which chakra uh, is being affected by this? Soulmate. Ooh. So we're looking at our, our soulmate connection. So it's the red... A red color that we're focused on so it's one of the lower chakra chakras I'm still learning this book so I'm gonna have to I only got this um, yesterday so I'm gonna have to quickly squeeze in the book so the red one is sorry the first chakra and it shows what currently sustains you what you are sourcing from and what will require growth in order to sustain your intention so what we're looking at, I guess, is our love and soulmate connection. We're just escaping from it right now because we're reflecting um, on the illusions, examining ourselves and whether we have a distorted viewpoint. So I guess um, what's really good about this is um, someone is going within. Um, whoever is resonating with this video, you're taking a step back from your love life and your soulmate connections, you're reflecting on things that didn't go right in the past, maybe your behavior, your interactions with other people, and why you're in the way that you're in. You are um, single, because I've got the freedom independence card, but you're determined to reflect upon the past, so you can create a better future. That's what I'm getting with this. So, that's a really positive. So, I'm going to see if I can find the um, soulmate card in this book. And read it because I like I like that card. That, that card came out. And I want to see what the meaning is. Sorry, I haven't memorized these cards yet. I've got a lot of cards to memorize, so I'm getting through it. So it's time to face my true feelings. It's time for you to leave again to use this script you always do at this point. How can you do this, this to me? She says, I love you. The words of the script die on his tongue. He struggles to get them out, just a few words, and he will be free, but they won't come. Suddenly he clasps her to him. He loves her. This is the true freedom he sought. That's deep. <laughs> um, so it's time to face my true feelings. Uh, the key words in relation to this card are authenticity, authenticity, treasure, and trust. Speaking your truth, choosing love, freedom through transformation, resistance to commitment and unexpected outcome and new truths. So they're all different things that he could be reflecting on or she, but I'm, I'm sort of getting like this is a masculine energy that's reflecting on this. So I'm going to go with that. Um, and also in the card, it went from him to her. Inspiration. To enjoy the beauty of a rose, we must risk being pricked by our inner thorns. This offers a new way to live. The best incentive to change is love. So someone is looking at changing their behavior for love. And then the personal inquiry. What truth am I embracing? This card indicates no longer living a lie. So someone isn't being their authentic self. They're living a lie. They're not being true to their heart because they wanted their freedom. They probably wanted to be single and they've been in denial about their real feelings for somebody. So they're reflecting and possibly thinking about coming forward and talking about their feelings honestly. Now there's a meditation um, that goes with this card. It says, 
Take a deep breath and keep relaxing until you find yourself in a safe place. Ask the great spirits to help you face that which you long for. Allow any nerves to pass. You may now know how to handle your present situation or this knowledge will come to you. So, yeah, that's, it. that's pretty cool that that came up. Now let's have a look at the feminine energy. See what she's doing. What is the feminine currently doing? Healing. Oh, we're both healing. Reconnecting with your true nature. Okay. So, looks like she's, yeah, healing her heart chakra from this. But there's also lots of nature and other different colors. So, we'll see what solar plexus card comes. I'm, I'm saying solar plexus. I meant chakra card comes out. All right. So, I will pick another card that goes along with this. What are we healing, feminine? Okay, we are healing from love, past hurts, it's like your last relationship hit you like a train, you know when it ended, I'm getting, you just felt like you were hit by a bus, all the wind was knocked out of you, you know, it's just that feeling of how am I supposed to breathe with no air? You know that song, that, how am I supposed to breathe with no air? That's what I'm getting from this card. Oh, and I just got goosebumps. Okay, let's um, let's have a look at the solar plexus. Why do I keep saying solar plexus? At the chakra wisdom cards. Solar plexus is on my mind. Sorry. Um, yes, let's see which card comes out. Complacency. Okay. So I'm going to get the book. So we're healing from a past experiences and we're working on complacency, which is also funny because it's a red, the red same chakra that the um, masculine is working on. So it's the, the red Which is about grounding. And it is your... Sorry, I'm just making sure that these um, cards match up to the book. Because it's your... Why is it not telling me? Red is in relation to the root chakra is what I'm thinking with this book. Let's have a quick look. Red. First chakra. Okay. Anyway... Um, so I'm going to open up this book and read you this card. Sorry, I've been really scattered with this reading. Um, I'm normally, I've normally got it a bit more together. can't even talk. Um, so I'm feeling the loss of my dreams. That's what complacency is. So the feminines want to have love in their life. They want, you know, the romantic fairy tale. And they're healing from losing a past love and the loss of their dreams. So the past person that they were with, they wanted that to be it, you know, and when that relationship broke down, they lost their oxygen, they lost hope, they lost faith, and, you know, they were complacent in that relationship is what I'm getting, and, you know, when, you know, when something ends and you're just like, I really wanted this to be it, I don't want to have to start again, I don't want to have to go through this again. That was the feeling that I'm getting. That they just wanted that to be it. And then when it all fell apart, it was like a nightmare. It was like a waking nightmare. So the personal inquiry is how can I redefine my dreams? How can I stop procrastinating? And the key words are daring, indomitability, and re reclamation. The key ideas is finding self-nourishment, leaving dreams unrealized, feeling depleted, Time for deep rest, lack of motivation or holding back. Inspiration for this card is, this is a warning not to give up. 
Beware of coasting along in a situation that is not what you really want. You will never be fulfilled by the unmet dreams of others. So it's like you're settling for less than you deserve, some of you feminines, because you just you think it's easy and you're feeling complacent. But spirit is reminding you, go after your dreams. You deserve better. So you're feeling the loss of your dreams. Dreams can come true. You just have to believe. At the end of her life, Flo reflects on the dream she shared with her late husband to move to Florida. They never went. After Flo dies, her daughter discovers that her parents had enough money to move there. As she plans what to do with her inheritance, she wonders why her parents never lived their dream. Oh, that's really sad. This is a really sad card. So, I guess Spirit is just wanting to say and convey. Heal all this heart heartbreak. Don't be complacent. Once you've healed this and reconnect with your true nature, you'll, you'll go out into... I mean, it's funny because the air card has come up with the tree and nature. It's like she's getting that oxygen. You know, obviously trees trees are what give us oxygen in life. And it's like really cool that these two cards came out together because it looks like there's like so much healing light coming from that card. If you, if you see, it's like she's just like breathing that oxygen in and it's healing her back to life. Wow. Sorry, I just had a little epiphany moment. It's amazing these cards that come out. I mean, I... I just love how they connect all these messages. Oh, that's really nice. I just felt like my heart chakra just then when I was talking about it. See this? This is about the heart chakra. And I did say, yeah, that this this is about love, healing love. So um, anyway, I'll, I'll stop ranting. Going out into nature is how you heal. Um, if you go swimming in the ocean, Salt water just gets rid of all of your negative, toxic energy. So go swimming, diving in the ocean. Being in the ocean is the best thing for healing. It gets rid of all negativity. Um, and then going out and doing bushwalks in nature. I constantly go out in nature and I do hikes and walks. And I just love it because you need to get grounded. You need to take your shoes off, walk in the sand, walk barefoot in nature. And that will really heal you. And also meditate. Okay, so... Thanks for joining me. That was just a quick little um, video just so I could use these Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman, which I kept calling Solar Plexus Cards because I'm an idiot. Well, I'm actually not, but I just I've just woken up. <laughs> All right, I'll speak to you guys soon.